Hi, this is C123 presenting a video clip of uh, what you can do or what you shouldn't do to Windows 7, uh, such as uh, the terminal command del space asterisk dot asterisk. And so here I've got a virtual box of board a installation this especially for this before I removed this virtual box and put it on my new computer and uh, let's see what happens when you perform that command both on documents and settings and on drive C so start off with uh, I warn you that my mouse on this virtual box is kind of funny uh, Oh, what the hell, I'll use a keyboard. Uh, it's not gonna let me do that neither, so... There we go. Just ignore that, uh... Word... F oh, don't ignore it. But rather, it says the do not try to sit home. So, don't say you won't warn, because what I'm about to perform is uh, very dangerous if you're not doing it in a controlled environment which in this case I am. You can use CMD to do the command or I think you might be able to do it E. Let's try it E. And let's see what happens. Nope, it didn't do it so let's do it in CMD. Okay. And yes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that didn't do much. How about we go to drive C? Uh, and do del dot dot. Yes, I'm sure. Access denied in Windows 7. Let's see what it raised by curiosity. Lucky offline. Uh, go desktop. That one there. Yeah, yeah. We don't need a virus scanner yet. Uh, my computer, drive C, hasn't deleted the Windows directory yet, nor has it deleted program files or the junk that com comes with the computer. Uh, come on, just use a keyboard again. Okay, uh, alt tab back into the terminal. What we can do is go into say Windows and try that command again. And yes, I'm sure. And another one you can try if you're gonna copy what I'm doing is still hash uh, or del hash slash okay Uh, let's see if we can delete windows. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
so Windows 7 it has this annoying permissions thing making it impossible to do as you can see here it's still intact but what if we were to find out a way to override these permissions like in the Ubuntu sudo command I suppose what we could do is uh, change if we delete the system 32 that may or there's access denied all the way down so if system has access denied again annoying I think Windows 7 has a help directory and yes it does can we delete that annoying little help wizard you can be a pain at the best of times. And indeed we can. Did we already try that? Another one, if it hasn't been programmed, is to delete the fonts. If that's not protected, it'd cause the whole system to crash. And again, access denied for all those system fonts. However, we've got very few fonts now, I believe. Oh no, all the fonts are protected because uh, I haven't put in any custom fonts. So, uh, basically, with Windows 7, it has this annoying protection thing. Well, for viruses, it stops viruses from deleting those system files. Let's check if it stops them from modifying those files. Uh, let's see, what wouldn't be loaded up at boot up? So all these files it couldn't delete, so... Uh, that one there. Let's load up that terminal again. Access denied for rage edit, but can we modify it? <laughs> Even an assembly directory. We'll go reg edit. So there's all this jibble jabble. Let's delete it. So now it's corrupted. Let's save it. Uh, not 
can't say of as but so and uh, it won't do it so I can't do it So Microsoft product won't be able to interfere with that because I remember with uh, XP you could easily get a program to append any string to the registry and explorer but with uh, Windows 7 it appears that uh, They've beefed up that security a bit. So, uh, let's uh, put a conclusion to this. Oh, and we haven't tried program files, by the way, so let's try it. According to that, program files should be empty. Now, does that report true information? Moment of truth, Microsoft, are you a liar? And indeed, Microsoft is a liar because there's stuff in there. It didn't have access to know but Microsoft was lying about that, so yeah. Uh, and in case you're wondering why it didn't delay inside program files, because program files in Windows 7 is a special type of directory and thereby has special permissions and can't be uh, well, has special reading and writing capabilities. So I set up this virtual box for nothing. I feel like I want to destroy it. Surely there's some way to destroy it. Um... What do you know? Microsoft doesn't put in any tools that can destroy it. You can't even delete the essential files. Uh, so that pretty much concludes the tutorial. In modern day Windows, you can't just enter in a simple command to delete all your files. You have to have a program to do it for you or uh, you would have to uh, go to each file and delete it yourself provided that user has permissions and uh, users don't have permissions for program files, windows folder and uh, most places in a documents and settings directory and so I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.